All right, guys, so I pretty much bricked this note forward to where uh, I rooted it and uh, I had put a zip file into the internal storage. And when I try going into recovery after I flash it with uh, Odin, um, it was not flashing it. So when I tried rebooting the phone, even Though I had backed up the boot file, uh, I tried restoring from that and it was in a boot loop. So if you want to install a ROM and the phone will not boot and you need to push files into the internal storage, this would probably be the f best way. What you're going to want to do is obviously download Odin 3 version 3.10.6. You're going to make sure you have the Samsung drivers installed and this is a USB driver for ADB. You're going to make sure you have those as well. I just placed a folder called Fastboot under my local disk and in that I have all those Fastboot drivers and also that's the recovery. I use TWRP and then that's the custom ROM. So to be able to push that ROM, you're gonna go to start, CMD command prompt, and you're gonna wanna get into that folder. So what you wanna do is type in CDC forward slash. Once you're in the C drive, CD Fast boot. that's the name of the folder now we're in that folder now to be able to push that file into the phone you want to make sure you're into the recovery of the phone so once you're into recovery which is for the note 4 it's volume up power home and power all together goes into recovery then it should hopefully install drivers for the ADB interface um, let me show you what it should look like. So under device manager, under the Samsung Android phone, that should be there. If that's not there, it's not going to work. You can probably look up some forums. Uh, I'll put a link down for where to download all your USB drivers and your ADB drivers. But once that's there, and you're in the fast boot, so this is the folder. We're going to be pushing this custom ROM into the phone. So what you're going to type in is ADB space push space. You can type in the first few letters and you can press tab and it fills in the rest then space forward slash SD card forward slash and then period once you press enter it will give you if ADB hasn't started it'll say start it will give you like a serial number of the phone and I'll say it's in recovery mode and then you're going to want to wait a few minutes. If it just shows the line, it means it's transferring. And then uh, let me show you what it looks like. I've already done this. Boom, right there. Once I pushed it, it transferred 177. So it was 1.7 gigs in 382 seconds. And then it'll go back to fast food. That means it transferred. I went into the phone. Uh, I went to wipe. I wiped everything but the internal SD card and the micro SD card. Once and then you swipe. Once you install, go back and then install. Scroll down and you should see that that file, the zip file, which I did. And right now I'm installing that custom ROM. Uh, the first time around, it, it takes a long time for it to boot, but it will be all well after this. Hope this helps you guys, uh, and I'll... As you can see, uh, 
the ROM uploaded and everything looks good hope you guys have the same luck